Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and happy Monday. So yes, folks, that is not a typo in the thumbnail for today's video. We are indeed going to be opening 10 packages. And because we are opening so many packages in today's video, that is why I'm not doing my usual, I guess you could call it NHL roundup. But I will say this, I'm very happy of my hometown Habs pulling off a much needed win on Saturday over the Toronto Maple Leafs because prior to Saturday's game, it seemed like Toronto had our number. And, um, well, we pulled off a 2-1 win. Uh, Marner got a nice goal on us, but uh, Brendan Gallagher and Tyler Toffoli, man, they, they managed to uh, seal it up for us. And Tyler Toffoli getting goal number 10 on the season. Ah, him and Anderson, I swear to God, they, they make a Habs fan so proud. I swear to God. Anyway, but um, yeah, that's that's all I got to say about hockey over the weekend. There was a lot of it, but again, we got a lot of packages to open, so I won't go into that. Again, if you guys want to check out what's been going on around the NHL, go check out Zach's Hockey Box on Instagram. He, he does a little video recap every single day, you know, talking about what games are going on in the NHL. So go check him out. All right. So the majority of the packages I have here are Instagram purchases, but three packages I have here are eBay and Facebook Marketplace related. So I'm going to go through the uh, Facebook Marketplace um, package first. So we'll just rip this sucker open here. Hold on a second. Let me just get this open. All right. So what do we got here? Oh, all right. This is a lot, I believe, of Young Guns. These are all from this year's set, as, as you can see. And oh, one thing I wanted to let everyone know before, uh, before I crack into all this stuff here. Let me find it. Folks, I remembered I got painter's tape. Yes, sir. Now that we're allowed to buy stuff again in stores, it was one of the first things I bought. <laughs> so now I got two rolls of this stuff. So um, when it comes to me sending anything out now, you can, you can be guaranteed that it'll be taped up nicely with painter's tape. All right, so let me figure out a way to open this. All right, this is where painter's tape ends. Let's just open this up here. All right. Let's cast that to the side. All right. So, yes, yeah, so there was a fella on Facebook Marketplace. He had a, a bunch of uh, young guns for sale. And uh, I got in contact with him and I was like, hey, how much for the young guns? And he was like, said price and I was like yeah I'll take them so I got Joseph Wall Nick Baudin Igor Zamula Timothy Liljegren I believe that's how it's said Alex Belzil and one of the uh, young guns I actually wanted to go after in this set besides the big guys Mr. Jake Evans, because I'm, I'm impressed with this guy, in in the uh, the time I've seen him playing with the Habs, quite impressed. So, so that's that. Uh, let me put these over here. Next, we got this cool little brick here, and uh, I think you'll be quite surprised to see what this is once I into it here oh, wait a minute let's let's see where one part ends and one part starts huh okay, 
No, okay. Uh, oh, maybe I should rip it along the, the length of it. There we go. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's get this out. Okay, the seller didn't even put them in plastics. All right. Well, you can't win them all, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> It's not like I was ordering a, you know, a 54 Parker set or something, but still, you, know, you, you, you hope, you hope the seller takes some precaution, but anyway. All right, what I have here, and I, I got this off a complete whim. <laughs> this was totally by fluke. I have here the complete 1994. <laughs> uh, are you ready for this? 1994 Jim Henson's Muppets Take the Ice NHL set. <laughs> Again, I was looking around on eBay and saw one picture of these in a lot. And I was like, what set is that from? And I looked it up, and I saw some of the other cards in the set, and I was like, I, I gotta have that. And I found it, and, well, um, you basically get cards like this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, actually, ooh, that might be a little risque, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the card that I saw in the lot that made me go, I gotta get those, was the card for the San Jose Sharks, and it's basically Animal's face instead of the shark, and I was like, oh my god, and um, yeah, so after I found them, I was like, <laughs> I'm still kind of speechless, I'm like, these things are awesome. Now, maybe to some of you out there, you might be going, R really? <laughs> but, I mean, I, I think they're cool. I just got to find the Habs one. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get these eventually, you know, sleeved up and whatnot and put in a nice binder. And we'll do a little, uh, little video in the future once once I do that alrighty because again we're already at almost eight minutes here and we've only gone through two packages I said I wanted to try and do this as quick as possible and make a short video and I have a feeling it's going to be a long one so bear with me folks right, let's get that over there let's move that over there all right, let's move that over there too all right. Uh, actually, this next eBay uh, purchase, I want to save this to the end because it's actually a, a project I'm trying to do for for this year, and it's actually based off um, off an idea that I got from a Card Cutter. It's a, it's based off a series he does, and um, so I'll go into that in a bit after. So let's get into some of the eBay, uh, sorry, uh, Instagram purchases. Uh, first things first, I have here. This is from uh, My Cool Cards, and um, basically, uh, this this is sort of a long time coming. Um, I originally purchased some stuff from him. The stuff kind of got lost in the mail, and uh, we we came up to, with a new agreement. He he gave me back some of my money and then the other chunk of it went to something else he had for sale on his Instagram page and uh, it's it's something I've wanted for a while um, it's a printing plate uh, up to getting this I've had no printing plates in my collection and I figured what the heck it's time to add one and um, it's also my very first one of one and it is a printing plate from 1415 uh, Upper Deck Series 1 of Mr. Travis Zajac. Forget what the heck, right? So, 
So I now have a printing plate. So that's pretty cool. Let's put this over here. Next, uh, this is from Hockey Cards Official. And again, uh, all the... Um, all the uh, Instagram channels mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below. So I got a lot of work on my hands. <laughs> but uh, again, after watching this, dip into the description. Go check out all, all the links and whatnot. Alrighty. So go, go help those channels out. Alright, so from Hockey Cards Official... Uh, a little while back, they did a uh, they did some mystery packs, and again, whenever there's mystery packs going around on Instagram, I like to help some channels out. So I got three, and um, well, let's see what we got. So I I picked uh, number six, seven, and nine, and. Uh, yeah, so let's see what we got here. So we open up number six first. So we got a Kiefer Bellows, OPG Glossy Rookies uh, insert. A Martin Cott, OPG Glossy Rookie insert. We got a Noah Dobson, a rookie from Allure. We got a sweet Tyler Bertuzzi, UD Canvas, from 2021 Upper Deck Series 1. And we got this sweet SP Rookie Authentics uh, mem card of Adam Boquist. That's freaking sweet. So, we will put him up here on the stand until something else could come along and knock him off. <laughs> All right, let's tear into pack number seven now. And continue with the goodness. All right, so we have a Aaron Ekblad. Uh, is, that, is that a silver script? No, it's just a regular, right? From 1920 MVP. We got a Danny DeKaiser. Ooh, we got a Capo Caco rookie from Allure. That's very nice. We got a Gabriel Landeskog UD canvas. Very cool. It's uh, from the outdoor game. And then we got a rookie authentics uh, mem of uh, Dan Vladar. Very, very cool. But he's not knocking off uh, Adam Boquist yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so let's put this over here. And now let's go with pack number nine. Uh, of course, whenever I uh, whenever I pick packs in uh, in for mystery packs, uh, I usually like to pick my numbers corresponding to player jerseys. So of course, number nine, Morsha Shard. Gordy Howe. So I'm hoping this could bring me some luck. Let's see. So we got a Parkhurst rookie of Ryan Kaufner. Parkhurst rookie of Connor Timmins. Ooh, we got an Allure rookie of Cody Glass. We got a UD Canvas of Mark andre Fleury. And let's see what our big hit is. Oh, okay. We got from Canada Juniors. We got a jersey of Nicholas Haig. All right, not too shabby. I'll take that. Very cool. So, I don't know if the Boquist was one of the chase cards, but all in all, still still happy with what I got. So again, uh, thank you, Hockey Cards Plus. Uh, sorry, Hockey Cards Official. Uh, again, links in the description. Go check them out. All right. Next, as I put all this stuff on the recycling pile. <laughs> um, 
All right, next I got from Alberta Born Card Collecting. Um, he did a, I think it was 200, 200 or 250 uh, follower contest, and I won. So let's see what I got. Slice this envelope open. That over there. Ooh. For starters, very nice business card with all the uh, all the credentials on the background and the back there. So very very cool. Right. So let's see what we got here. As I pull off some of this awesome painter's tape. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's that. That's there. All right. So we have a uh, Nikita Kucherov Dazzlers. Very nice. We got a Josh Brown Young Guns. Very cool. I think that's one I still need, actually. So awesome. And then we got a uh, Gabriel Landeskog UD game jersey. Awesome. So, thank you very much, Alberta born. All right. Let's put these over here. Next, we got a package here from Caps Card Collector. So, I pre... Uh, pre-cut uh, this package actually and as I take the uh, little bundle out um, it's more than the two cards that I actually bought from him so I'm kind of curious what he sent me <laughs> well let's find out let me just uh, get the tape off here so bear with me folks okay I think uh, I think we're gonna have to do some surgery here Alright, let's slip that in there. Easy does easy does it. Alright. Oh, right. Get that tape off. I rip enough of this tape off I could start doing ASMR videos. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so one of the cards that I purchased from him is this beautiful King Henry Henrik Lundqvist UD canvas from uh, 1819 Upper Deck Series 2. So uh, actually, sorry, Adam. The, the king is dethroning you. <laughs> Alright, and we just fix that there, okay, and then the other card I bought is from, this is from what, uh, 2020 Tops, yeah, and it's one of the, um, the 35th anniversary inserts, but I think this is from one of the, like the special packs that come in a blaster. I think it's one of the Mojo cards or whatever it's called. I, I just wanted it because it's Randy Johnson. So, yeah. You can't go wrong with the big unit. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. But, what I'm intrigued in is all this other stuff. So, let's see what we got. Get more of the tape off here. All right. I appreciate the super thick top loader too, because you never know when, you know, the opportunity is going to strike, and you might come come across like a big, you know, hundred and eighty point card or or whatever. I mean, in my case, that probably will never happen because I don't open. A lot of that high-end stuff but you never know you could always find something on Instagram or 
eBay or whatever. So, all right, let's get all these out here. Okay, looks like we got some 90 stuff here. So we got Knuckles Nylon when he was with the uh, Rangers. Darren Turcott. Carrie Wilson. Kelly Kizio. And we got some baseball. We got Andre Pallant, first Bowman. JJ Goss, first Bowman. Uh, we got. Mika Zabina Jab, that's this year's uh, base. We got Mike Riley, Alex Killorn, Bo Horvat, David Stepniak, Jacob Trauba, and we got Brian Mullen, and we got Darren Turcott. All right, we got a lot of Rangers in there. So, uh, heck yeah, very cool. Alrighty, let me just put these back in the super mega top loader. <laughs> Alright, and on to the next package uh, we have from Abby Breaks Hockey. Uh, she did, she did a uh, artifacts break a little while back. I will admit, <laughs> uh, again, it was, oh no, I think I ripped into her letter. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, hold on a second here. Uh, yeah, she did, um, she, she did a break of a couple boxes of uh, this year's artifacts. And um, I will admit, it was a, a little underwhelming. But, uh, well, let, let's see what we got. Frank, thank you. Abby. Oh, no problem, Abby. Anything to help out. So there's a few cards here in this uh, in this top uh, in this uh, penny sleeve. So let's see, we got some Habs here. We got Jeff Petrie, who I'm very happy with. We got Cam Atkinson, Pierre Luc Dubois, Gustav Nyquist. And Thomas Tatar. So as you can see, I really didn't hit anything in the box. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is, right? It's it's basically the luck of the draw, I guess you can call it. So but still still was fun to take part and help out. So yeah. Alright, let me move all this out of the way. Okay. Uh, next we got from M Hospitality Card Collecting. All right, folks. I got something here that's gonna knock the king off the stand. Are you ready? Well, first things first. I got myself. A trios, a Timmy's trios that I needed for my set. We got the Avalanche here. That's not the card. Next, we got a UD Young Guns canvas of Max Verano. That's not the card. This is the card that's going to knock the king off the stand. Are you ready? I finally have for my set. A Quinn Hughes Young Guns. Oh yeah. So King, sorry, but Quinn's gotta take your spot. <laughs> oh, I never thought that I would own a Quinn Hughes Young Gun because you know 
the the price for uh series one and oh my god series two has gone up like bonkers mad and actually i got very lucky the other day i was at walmart and i found this on the shelf so um we'll be busting this in a future video hoping to finally pull elvis merzlikens young guns but um yeah i'm very happy about that now uh all right, we're down to the last big package here. So before we open this, um, I'll go over the uh, eBay purchase I wanted to talk about. It's actually a PSA uh, purchase. Let me get this out here. So as I was mentioning, um, I just said his name. <sighs> oh my god. I just said his name at the beginning of the video and now I'm, I'm spazzing on it. <sighs> I've been opening too much stuff. Uh, oh my god. I feel terrible for spazzing out right now on Blank's channel card cutter oh my god i knew i'd get it i knew i'd get it as i was saying card cutter uh does a series where um he collects ttms of uh, nfl hall of famers and i wanted to do something like that for myself this year you know, keep things you know exciting while collecting yeah it's one thing to go on ebay and just get this thing and this thing and be like hey wow i got this card but you want to keep it exciting and so i was like i want to kind of do something like that with hockey now i'm not doing ttms but i wanted to try and do like a player career their cards and originally I was going to do it with Grant Fuhr, but then I realized Grant Fuhr has a lot of cards because he played a while. So I wanted to go with someone who had a short, well, I wouldn't really say a shorter career, but has less cards than Grant Fuhr. And I decided to go with one of my favorite, um, you know, old time players. And um, so I picked up the first card to start... Uh, my little journey here and this is from 1970 opichi and it is of none other than the cowboy himself mr bill flett yes uh, throughout the year i want to try and put all of bill flett's uh you know play playing career cards together uh i would love to try and get all of them uh in a graded form but uh, there's not a lot of Bill Flett graded cards out there. Uh, I did see a 69. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I have not seen any of his rookie card graded. And I believe I've seen a 71 as well. But again, there's not a lot of graded Bill Flett stuff out there. But I'm going to keep looking. And then if worse comes to worse, well, then I'll just get them raw. But uh this is uh, card number one in my journey to collect all of Bill Flett's uh, playing career cards. So, yeah. And as I look at the timer on this video, we're about to hit half an hour. <sighs> I've failed you, folks. I've failed you in wanting to try and keep a video under half an hour. Sorry. All right. Last package of the video, and this is from Crusher Sports Cards, and this is going to be a doozy of a package, because there are some banger cards in here. So basically, uh, Crusher, uh, not too long ago, did some, uh, or he did a um, kind of Wheel of Fortune kind of dealio on... Uh, on on Instagram and basically you 
you would pay, I think it was um, two bucks or a buck or a buck fit. I forget, for a spin on the wheel. And so I did, and I, you know, got this and that. And I was like, okay, cool. And then uh, I was lucky enough to buy uh, a four, four spin for 10 bucks. And that first four spin that I, I got, I, I connected pretty, pretty damn big. And I'll show you how big I, I connected. Let me just get all this painter's tape off here. Okay, this this seems to be like the uh, this seems to be the uh, the big hit pile. So I'll try and uh, fix everything here to go from like oh those are cool to oh my god you you connected on that. I'll, I'll try and set things up that way. I mean, I'm looking at one of the big cards that I hit, and I can't believe that I actually am holding this in my hand right now. Because it's one of those cards where I'm like, I, I never thought I would actually own one of those, you know? I, I see people bust so many packs, you know, to try and get said card, and don't end up pulling it. And they eventually have to just, you know, submit and buy the darn thing. But uh, I got lucky. Okay, let me take some more painter's tape off here. Okay. Also, I'm trying to, you know, stay talking so you guys don't get bored and leave. Although probably some of you have already because this video is over 30... 30 minutes, oh, I apologize, again, can't help it, I'm Canadian, <laughs> okay, hey, at least one thing, this video, I think I've only bumped the camera once, so, uh, kudos to that, okay, is the other big card in this pile, no, I don't think so, it's probably in this pile, okay, let's go ripping some more, Paint this tape off here. Okay. Oh, right. One big loop. Sweet. Ow. Gee, it's stuck on my thumb. Okay. Alright. Now let's go the other way. Come on, tape. Come on, tape. Cooperate. <laughs> okay, hurry up, Frank. <laughs> Alright. Where are we going? Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, so you two are going last. Hey, come on. And then we'll get all you. Okay. So I even got a graded card out of um, out of this whole lot. It is once again another BCCG. Connor McDavid. Ah. <laughs> uh, if you guys are uh, lifers to the channel, you'll remember way back, like, when I first started doing videos, I was getting those uh, Gems of the Game boxes, and almost every box I got, I was pulling a Connor McDavid 10 mint or better card out of them. And I think now, prior to getting this, I'm up to 8 <laughs> or 9 of them. So, um, hey, let's just tack on another one to the collection. <laughs> All right. So, we got some autos here. Uh, let me just get some more of this painter's tape off. Okay, first things first. We got from Ultimate. We got an Ultimate Rookies Auto, numbered to 299 of... Kyle Bon. Then we got this is pretty cool because this card is like super thick and it's just awesome. This is um this is from Black uh, Upper Deck Black. This is a Black Lustrious Rookies numbered also to two ninety nine of Tyler Mott. I think that's how you say his last name. So two. Uh, Chicago uh, Blackhawks autos right there. We'll put these up in front of Mr. Flett. Then we got from 1011 Donruss. This is uh, let's, let's 
get the tape out of the way. We got this really cool uh, Tough Times Presents of Joey Coker. I mean, pff, Tough Times is right. I mean, this guy was a badass. Him, him with Bob Probert? Oh, my God. You, you did not mess with that duo. So, yeah, this is friggin' cool. Then from from OPG, I think this this is from um, when Canadian Tire had uh, had the cards that I could never get my hands on because well they sold out like immediately. Uh, this is uh, from OPG. This is OPG Red. Uh, Anthony Sorelli, rookie. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I still need his Young Guns, but. I think his Young Guns has kind of gone up in price since it's come out. I could be wrong. Uh, speaking of Young Guns, we got one here from... Let me get the tape off. I'll tell you. This is from 1314 Upper Deck Series 2. This is a Mar uh, Merrick Mazanic Young Guns. All right. Very cool. Yeah, I'm just going to pile these one on top of each other. <laughs> then we got a... Uh, this is from... Uh, well, this is from Series 2. Upper Deck Series 2. It's a uh, Opeachy Blue of uh, Tobias uh, Ryder. Alright. Then we got from... I think this is, this is a Timmy's card, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is from 1516 Tim Hortons. It's uh, Shining Futures of Mr. As I fixed the card in the top loader. Jacob Delarose. And we got a couple more here. Here we got a Opeachy Marky Rookie. This is from... 1112 Opeachy of Mika Zabina Jab. That's pretty cool. Then this is from Credentials, I believe. Yes, this is from uh, well, 1920. I mean, it's the only year Credentials has been out. Uh, this is from Credentials. This is numbered to 999. Uh, Mr. Dennis Gilbert. Very nice. Sparkle, sparkle. Then we have another uh, Shining Futures from 1516 Tim Hortons. This is of Aaron Ekblad. Very cool. And we got, what's this from? 1213 Upper Deck. These are the Hockey Heroes inserts. This one's really cool. This is from the 70s, and it's Mr. Tonio, which is sweet. And then we got a sh was it? Shooting Stars. This is from 1920 Upper Deck Series 1, and it's Mr. Claude Giroux. But now, are you guys ready for the biggies? The biggies? Of this package all right so first things first we have from 1988 old peachy yeah I just say that set and I'm sure some of you out there could go no does he have his rookie card yeah yeah oh we got a Brett Hull rookie card, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, it's not in the best shape. I don't give a crap about that because it's a Brett Hull freaking rookie card. So, yeah. And then, the big, big hit from this whole package, folks, I finally have myself... A Carter Hart Young Gun. Mm-hmm. So how about that, huh? Carter Hart and Quinn Hughes in the same freaking video. 
that? Carter Hart, Quinn Hughes, Brett Hull, and Bill Flett all in the same damn video. Come on. Come on. Come, come, come on. Yeah. Sure, it's 40 freaking minutes long, but hey. There are some banger stuff in this video, am I right? All right, so now to give you all a break from listening to me talk for 40 freaking minutes, uh, I'm going to say this is the end because it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, whether you actually stood around, stuck around and watched every minute of it or just put it on in the background and went and did something else. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And most importantly, before leaving, uh, make sure to check out all the links in the description below to all the, the mentioned uh, Instagrammers in this video. As well, make sure to like, comment, and click that big old subscription button. Uh, we, we're, we're over the 250 mark, which is friggin' amazing. Thank you all once again. And, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. And as I say at the end of every video, folks, keep collecting what you enjoy collecting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Now, I'm gonna see how long it takes to upload this damn video. <laughs> all right, folks, see you in the next one. Laters.